Hello and welcome to this full video build of the Teleri kit number 3922 Scania 164L top class in 1224 scale. I built the Scania as 144 with 530 horsepower as I said was shown on the brochure of Scania at the time. The unboxing and kit review video is linked above. This starts the building of the model, first with cutting out the parts for chassis from the spruce bow. The parts are not warped, attaching the traverse is easy and they are straight right away. I also glue some parts like the air tank and the complete rear axle including the brakes. Next comes the engine which is the next part needed after the chassis. The noise protection part gives the chassis additional stability. The air tanks must all be sanded so that the hulls are not visible. All parts are attached to the chassis which should have the same color as the chassis in the end. The engine is also lightly sanded. But this would not be necessary at the bottom because of the noise protection part. 
However, it is necessary for the gearbox on and the front end. Otherwise, the other parts will not fit nearly there. The engine is very nicely detailed with all hoses and some lines. Next is the front axle which is movable. The cabin and the front skirt can be pre-glued to make the painting easier and cleaner. However, you have to live with some compromises. For example, the door panel cannot be glued in. The rear axle must be loosely inserted before both sides of the suspension are attached. The intake manifold must be filled a little as it has sink marks. When gluing the cabin, always make sure that it is exactly at the right angle. The cabin also has a very good fit. The radiator grill is very detailed and has an offset intercooler. The front axle joints are fused with a heated screwdriver to keep them movable. Now I glue more attachments to the engine. The intake manifold is finished and glued to the engine.
The brake cylinders are equipped with fluid hoses and complete the front axle. Now the top line roof follows so I can finish the cabin. The interior should not be underestimated. This also takes some time to complete. The interior is very nice for a Scania 4 series. I also glue all parts together first, which are painted with the same color. With the roof panel there are slightly fitting inaccuracies. With the side panels of the interior paneling and testing beforehand is highly recommended. The interior parts like seats and dashboard are glued together before painting. Now I attach the front axle to the chassis so that painting can begin. The surface of the springs has to be straightened a bit so that the axle has more support. The dashboard is completed with the steering wheel, however I would recommend to attach the levers only after decals. The roof is glued onto the cabin so it is ready for painting as well. Here I glue the steering column to the chassis. This joint is also fused with the hot screwdriver. The tank is glued together, plus other parts like the air Intake, exhaust and the rear wheel skirts. The air intake hose has to be slightly sanded, as it does not quite fit. This is not necessary for the tank, as it is hidden behind the side skirt. Now the painting starts with the priming of the engine, the bumper, the radiator grill and the chassis. The chassis is always difficult to paint, so that in the end the paint is in all corners and edges.
The interior is also primed. As well as the entire cabin. After priming you can see if there are any gaps. The add-on parts such as the side skirts and spoilers are primed as well. I always prime in two steps, first a little bit of paint and after a short drying time the covering layer. The engine is painted in dark grey, the chassis is painted in black, but it is difficult to get into all corners and to have a covering layer. The bumper and the side skirt are painted in black, as it is unpainted plastic on the real model. The underside of the cabin is also painted in black. I paint the dashboard and the wool interior in grey. I used photo edge parts to enhance the lettering of the truck. This makes a clear difference in the final model. I painted the cabin in lemon yellow. This gives a nice contrast with the black parts, plus it is about the same color as in the brochure of Scania. The only place on the cabin that had to be filled is in the front at the transition of the roof to the lower parts of the cabin because there was a cast branch attached. I painted the seats in black, the lemon yellow had to be applied in about 5 layers until it was covering layer. On the engine the exhaust system still had to be painted in aluminium because I had to attach earlier due to other parts. Gluing the engine into the chassis is very easy on this model, because it can be put from above. I painted the tank black first and then masked the brackets with masking tape to achieve sharp edges. After pressing it into the edge, you can simply cut the corner with a cutter knife. After that, the tank is primed in gloss black to give the aluminium a better effect. Do the same with the exhaust and headlights.
After drying, the mask on the tank can be removed and there is a clean edge. Wally's interior parts are ready painted and can be glued in place. The kit has a lot of chrome parts as well as the rims. The other parts are painted in aluminium. The rear wheel skirts did not fit directly into the hose. This had to be drilled out. Various add-on parts are glued to the chassis. The kit has white tires at the front. The insertion of the drive shaft is very easy after the engine is installed. The clear varnish is applied to the cabin and other parts. The painting of the radiator grill is very easy on this model with separate parts. The dashboard is represented by decals. Now you can see why the lever should be mounted later. The charge air hose and the exhaust air glued to the model. Here are some last brushworks on the dashboard and the upper instruments. The double tires at the rear do not fit into the wheel housing and produce. A lot of material has to be removed from the inner wheels so that the wheel slides inwards sufficiently. After the clear coat was drying, I painted the black parts of the cabin. It has to be masked well so that none of the spray mist gets on the finished cabin parts. The rear tires, like the front and the spare tire, are fixed with super glue. Now we are at the clear parts. I take this as late as possible to avoid damaging them. The turn signals are painted with yellow clear. The sun visor is painted in black from inside. The windscreen has to be sawed out of the sheet so that it does not crack. This is glued in first and then the two side windows. On the bumper I glued the yellow elements and the lettering 144 and 530. This I fix with white glue. Now I glued the last parts of the chassis together.
The mounting of the spoilers on the cabin is not easy and needs patience. The Scania lettering is also made of photo-etched parts. The mirror glasses are clear parts and can be painted from inside. This gives a nice effect. Now the grille lettering and sun visors are attached to the cabin and the side skirts to the chassis. It was not easy to connect the cabin to the chassis. This is tricky, it works very well when the truck is lying on its side. Now the Scania 144L is finished. Here are some pictures of the model. If you liked the video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up and write a comment. See you soon here on the channel for next video.